Why do we want to put the giant freak giraffe into the tiny refrigerator? Ever since Toys R Us closed down, this guy has had it rough. We really don't need to be screwing with him. What's up guys, welcome back to Brain Out, a game that I keep saying that I'm done with and the videos keep getting a ton of views and likes and comments to the point where it's probably my biggest ongoing series and I'm not really sure how to react to getting so much love and support from hundreds of thousands of people who appreciate watching me suffer like an idiot. <laughs> But I'm just not gonna think about it, okay? Like everything in this game, including level 120, find the mother hen again. I appreciate the fact that they said again, because we've definitely done this before. Last time we had to scroll just barely to the side. She was just a little off screen, but of course they can't make it that easy twice. I don't suppose one of you three are the mother. Maybe you're just a little young looking for your age, you know, a bit of a milf. Except in a chicken's case, I guess it would be mother I like to cluck? <laughs> no, of course not, okay. So unless she's hiding behind these words or behind one of you idiots, no, then she has to be off screen somewhere. I just don't know how to get to her. Can I call out to her? <gasps> I really, oh, oh, I can probably zoom out, right? Can, can I zoom out in this? Yes, there we go. Go watch your stupid little nuggets, you neglectful bird. I'm tired of being your babysitter. Level 121, help the duck drink water. Again, I don't think this duck wants to drink water. I think he wants to get stoned and he doesn't understand what it means because it definitely has nothing to do with rocks or drinking bong water. <laughs> but we could do our very best to combine the two, oh, that actually, oh, is it raising the water level? Okay, so now that it's a little bit higher, you can't drink it. All right, well, we've got a weather system above us for some reason, how does that help? Can I just, there you go, That that's closer to what it's like to get stoned. <laughs> I probably need to block out the sun so that it rains and fills up the bong and then you can drink from it. Because that's what ducks do, I, I guess. I still don't fully understand that one. It took me 122 questions to think to do this, but it turns out Brain Out is developed in Hong Kong, which explains a lot of the broken English and a lot of the references that I am just not getting. <laughs> Level 122, what's your body temperature now? I don't want to put that in my butt. What if I just touch it? Is that good enough? Oh, okay. It went up. Is that good? 96.8. If I let go, does it go back down? Can I just put that in? 96.8. That's normal temperature, isn't it? I don't have a fever anymore like last episode. Hey, there you go. If that would have read 102 last episode, I would have been really freaked out. Level 123, mix red and blue together. Well, the obvious answer would be to interact with this at all, no. Okay, well, I'm guessing that we need to shake our phone, and by phone, I mean emulator. Did it just spill everywhere? Oh, it doesn't have a cap. So... Where would I get a cap? Can I use something up here to plug it with? <laughs> That's interesting. So I do need to shake it. Oh, what if I just plug it and then shake? Just shake it up. It's not spilling now, so I feel like that's a good thing. In all reality, we could just wait. Right? Like diffusion should just passively make the colors mix, but I don't have time for that. I really hope that whatever just spilled all over the inside of my emulator isn't toxic. I don't know about it being toxic, but I think that giraffe rolled in whatever it was. <laughs> Level 124, put the giraffe into the fridge. Why? I know I shouldn't be asking why, they're asking me, uh, 
Actually, they're not even asking me a question. They're giving me an order. Okay, I'm gonna ask a question. Why do we want to put the giant freak giraffe into the tiny refrigerator? Ever since Toys R Us closed down, this guy has had it rough. We really don't need to be screwing with him. I can't even open the fridge. So how am I supposed to stuff him in? I can't hold him, can I? You got a pretty long neck, right? You might be able to like bend a little bit. Can I make one of them bigger or smaller? What if I try something like this? No. Oh, oh, uh, something happened there. What? Something happened with the fridge. It got big for like a second. <laughs> Oh my god, this emulator is gonna be the death of me. I'm pretty sure I need to make the refrigerator bigger. Big enough? Not quite. Need to be a little bigger. Come on, work with me. Work with me. Well, the good news is I managed to supersize the fridge, but I still can't open it. Really hoping this is good enough. Okay, that's good enough. Yeah, just put him on the giant fridge. He doesn't really need to go in. That's semantics of the English language. Level 125, turn off the light again. We've definitely turned a few lights off before. They've always been trickier than they need to be. I don't suppose there would be a hidden switch. I feel like that would be a Hail Mary. Maybe we can just pull it out of the ceiling. Would that be excessive? You just moved. Oh, okay, yeah. There you go. You just ripped the light bulb out because that's, okay, that's technically easier than pulling it out of the ceiling, but still, level 126. In writing all of the integers from one to 199, how many times is one used? I'm guessing that this is supposed to be some kind of trick question and that they make you think, okay, use it one, and then two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, doesn't have anything, 10, so that would be another one, 11, that'd be two ones, so we've used four, but I think they just mean how many times is the number one as an integer used, and it's only used once, right? There's only, nope, nope, they're actually gonna make me figure out how many times one is used when counting to 199. Okay then. So just as an example, let's take the 20s, right? From 20 to 29, the only time one is used is 21. All of the other ones don't have a one in them. The same thing for the 30s, the 40s, the 50s, all of those leading up to 100. And then it's the same kind of thing, except every 100 has a one in front of it. And then 11 is doubled, 111 is tripled. So it should be... It's either 139 or 140. I swear to God, if no. I'm gonna have to break out an Excel spreadsheet. I'm gonna write down 199. No, I am not. You can suck these mathematic nuts. Level 127, the little bunny is hungry again. I would much rather questions like this, okay? I do like the math questions, but at the same time, I would rather struggle to figure out how to feed a stupid platform bunny than do math off screen for like five minutes, okay? I know there's a jump cut and a pause, and then I come back and I walk my way through it, but at the same time, it takes a lot of friggin' thinking. <laughs> I don't like to think. I like to just have verbal diarrhea on camera. That's what you guys want to watch, right? So the bunny is hungry again. There was a time where we could bring him the carrot, but we can't do that anymore. There was a time where we could bring the bunny over. Can't do that anymore. We can't interact with the platforms or the clock, and we can't use the words to make a platform either. Something tells me I can't just make you jump? No. Okay. So you have four out of five lives left. Can I... Oh. Maybe we can make a bit of a heart bridge, even though I can't take the one... Oh, no, we can't take the one that we lost. Okay, perfect. So what if we just spread these out ever so delicately? It's a mobile game. There's no way I need to be that precise, right? It feels like they have physics, though. Is that good? That's... That's not expected. Okay, so it didn't act as a bridge, but it did act as bunny steroids? <laughs> Hold on. So, if I give you... I'm confused. You got bigger, didn't you? Jump. 
jump, jump. I, I feel like the hearts did something, but I don't know what. Honey, these are all the roids that I can give you, so you're gonna need a running start, and I'm gonna do my best to make you actually jump this distance. Now go! Ow! Oh! oh, okay, he got there. He froze for a second in disbelief that he actually made the jump. Finally, Bunny can actually do it himself, kind of, as long as he doesn't get a drug test. Level 128. There are 26 letters in the alphabet. Checks out so far. If ET left, how many letters are left? Well, the answer is clearly not going to be 24, but I'm going to try it because they've been throwing me a lot of curveballs lately and I've been doing a lot of mental gymnastics just to realize that the obvious answer was the actual answer. I don't know why there's a space between left, the comma. It's freaking me out. Maybe it's asking how many letters are the word left? Would it be four? Or if ET left, then left would just be L and F, right? So it would be two, I guess, right? No, I thought I was really onto something there. <laughs> ET, man, what if ET left? How many letters are left? It should just be LF. The answer should be two. I was thinking they might mean move the letters ET to the left, but I can't interact with these giant ET. Like they have to have chosen E and T for a reason. I assumed it was because it makes up half of the word left, which they have used twice instead of how many letters remain. But like I said, it's developed in Hong Kong, so they're probably not trying to go that clever. I'm going to have to get a hint. I can't believe this. I never have to get hints. E.T. left with UFO. Are you kidding me? How is anybody supposed to assume that? You mean E.T. the alien? So he left in a UFO. He took the letters U, F, and O as well, which means the answer is 21. Oh, you can just fuck off, brain out. That's some bullshit, okay? I'm calling it right now. My answer was better. Level 129, light up all the bulb. Do they mean bulbs or do I need to light up all of one of them? Weird, okay. So you work for those, you work for those, and you work for those. Wait, okay, so outside, right, left. That doesn't mean anything though, right? Because now the two outsides are on, this should switch them off, but it doesn't. It just keeps stuff on. These don't work like they're supposed to. They don't turn stuff off that's already on. It's only on. So there's no way of... There's got to be something. Can I unplug one of them? Can I screw with it? There you have it. <laughs> Not my first time struggling with this stupid game puzzle. This one's as old as time. Level 130. One candle is 50 centimeters high and can burn for three hours. Another one is 70 centimeters high and can burn for six hours. How long does it take for this two candles to reach the same height? Oh, it's one of those two trains going at different speeds, which one arrives first kind of questions. Okay, th this shouldn't be difficult, right? Famous last words. First candle, 50 centimeters high, burns for three hours, which means it burns like 16-ish centimeters an hour. Another one is 70 centimeters high and can burn for six hours, which means it burns at like 11 centimeters an hour. Wait, what? The smaller one burns faster, so the bigger one is never going to catch up. So they're never gonna be the same height. Oh, unless they completely burn out, right? They'll be the same height at zero. So six hours, right? If the answer is six, I'm gonna feel like a 
goddamn genius. <laughs> oh, every now and then you get one quite like uh, pretty much once an episode, I get a question where I think to myself, wow, that was smart. And then I look at the comments, I'm like, nope, I'm a dipshit. Level 131, can you solve this? 5 plus 3 is 28, 9 plus 1 is 810, 8 plus 6 is 214, 5 plus 4 is 19, and 7 plus 3 is what? Okay, well, I'm gonna punch in 10 now, just to make sure, because you never know. <laughs> so what is the pattern here? 5 plus 3 should be 8, but instead it's 28. 9 plus 1 is 10, but instead it's 810. 8 plus 6 is 14, but instead it's 214. So the last digits are correct. 5 plus 4 should be 9, but instead it's 19. But the, what is the first digit? 8, 2, 1... Oh, it's subtracting them. So it would be seven minus three is four, and then seven plus three is 10. So is it 410? I'm telling you, man, I, I know I can't make whole YouTube videos of me doing math because that is the opposite of entertaining, but it still feels like I get to be a smarty pants. You see, this is a little bit more YouTube's pace. Level 132, help the baby get a haircut. That I can do. Uh, okay, don't shave the baby. <laughs> All right, then. You can stop now. Stop, stop crying, baby. Go back to the way you were. Okay, something has changed. This is how you stop a baby from crying, right? You just poke it with a mouse cursor until it gives up. Why don't you take this and stop? No. Isn't that how babies stop crying? Shove this in your face and... No, all right. What if I blow dry you? All right. Well, I am out of guesses. What if we shake the baby? Is that is that a bad idea? Probably not working. You see, the thing about the math questions are the possibilities are... You know, not necessarily endless, but there's a lot of them. You can't really guess. With this, you can put in all of your possible inputs, you know, interact with every object in the baby in every possible way that you can on a mobile device, and then when it doesn't work, you're out of luck. You, you just gotta ask for a hint. I got nothing. Put the baby to sleep and then cut his hair. How? This stupid baby has ruined me before. I, I need to put the baby to sleep by rocking my phone, which an emulator will not do. So I technically have to skip this question, but again, I'm not gonna count it because we did come up with an answer, okay? You can put a baby to sleep by shaking it. Waking it up afterwards is the hard part. <laughs> yes, skip, level 133. You're so smart, let's cheers. Okay then, do you want me to shake this as well? Because that's one thing that I can do. <laughs> I don't know if we should be shaking this. Want it explode it's gonna pop there's got to be a way of getting this stupid cork out man why does everything hate me in this game <laughs> you can't shake a baby you can't shake champagne okay hold on we, we got bubbles bubbles are good bubbles mean progress keep on going keep on shaking maybe if i had shake the baby for long enough something would have happened this game seems to require a whole lot of shaking. It's not just one or two. You, you really gotta lean into it. Am I losing my mind? Did it always have bubbles? I really thought we were making progress. Come on, you piece of... There we go. How many times did I have to shake that? Level 134. Solve the problem with fruit math. You know, that thing that you were taught in school rather than how to do your taxes. You can't call up the IRS and tell them that strawberry equals seven and grape equals five plus strawberry. So grape would be 12 and then strawberry equals one plus triple eggplant. So triple eggplant would be six 
So a single eggplant would be two because they've pulled that trick on me before. So it's seven strawberry plus two eggplant, which is nine, plus 12 grapes would be 21? No. Oh, oh, they're screwing with me. The grapes are different as well. Uh, how many grapes are there up here? 12, and let me guess, down here there's only 11, so the answer would be 20. You can't fool me with fruit math that often, okay? Uh, this is like the third or fourth time that they've tried to throw this at me, and it's getting to the point where I'm gonna start paying for things in quarter eggplants. Level 136, find the wolf in the sheep. <laughs> Can I just start accusing them? Oh no. So it's not gonna openly tell me that one of them is a wolf, and I can't move them around. Do you have any, oh. Why can't I interact with that? I was gonna go for the little worm. Okay, Mr. Mm. Oh wait, there's this meat here. Who wants some meat? I would imagine a wolf would. Okay, it's, it's you. You're the wolf. I, like that, that's the face of a wolf, right? You notice how none of the other ones want a pork chop except for you? But for some reason, that's not good enough. <laughs> Do I hit it with a rock? Come on, I just want to bludgeon the, I found the wolf. What do you want from me? It's this guy right here. <gasps> what am I supposed to do? Can I, yeah. I'm just gonna let him eat the whole flock. Screw you all. I think this is another one of those questions where I need to use multiple fingers at once, but I can't. So I, I, I've got stuff set up and now I'm hoping if I give you the meat, I should be able to hit a number of buttons, none of which are doing anything to you. I'm trying like a pinch and a poke and a pull. Okay. Something had to work there. Because every time I let go of the meat, it resets. I need to hold the meat there and then do stuff in the background and, and pray. Level 138, make the paper windmill spin fast. I don't understand why a paper windmill has a battery and wires. Isn't it just a pinwheel? Like that thing that kids run with in the wind? It's a wind mill. So maybe the battery is just a red herring? Maybe I don't actually need to use the wires? I can't interact with the battery anyway, so I don't think it really matters. What if I, oh. I touched it and it is spinning, but I need to make it spin fast. Okay, what if I shake? I've been shaking everything lately and hoping for the best. <laughs> no luck on the shake. All right then, what else could I possibly do here? Once again, I've tried every possible input. So like I really thought we were onto something there. I mean, I mean, the pinwheel was spinning. It's not anymore, but. Now I gotta get a hint. Wave your device like you wave a paper windmill fast and hard. I, I was shaking it, that's the most I can do! Are you gonna be kidding me? And I've watched the same stupid TikTok ad like 15 times this episode for the other skips and hints, so now I'm just stuck. That's the end of the video. You know what, I think that's gonna be it for this episode of Brain Out, guys. And it's like I said, I really enjoy the game. I would love to keep going. I just don't know if people wanna see me keep doing the same thing over and over. I know all the questions are different, but my frustration is largely the same. <laughs> Which I guess is why people keep coming back. There's only 180 levels, so we only have two episodes left. I think I get through about 20 questions every episode, so you guys like a video, leave a comment, that kind of stuff, then maybe I'll return to see if we can beat it, or it beat me, whatever comes first. But thanks so much for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.